here's a couple of quick examples of um, graphing cylinders in a somewhat generalized sense in three dimensions. Cylinder usually means something with a circular cross section and then extending uh, straight in another d direction, but a cylinder for us means anything that extends uh, straight in one of the directions. And so a standard example of a cylinder would be you start with the equation x squared plus y squared equals 9, say. That's equals to 3 squared. And the big thing here is that this is in, we have to know the context. If you just say, I'm looking at this equation, I can't tell whether we mean I'm in 2D and x and y are the only variables, and that's a circle of radius 3, or if I'm in 3D and it's going to be something different. So you have to be pay attention to the context. For, for us, almost all the time, we're going to be in three dimensions. And for all the problems you're going to be doing, uh, apropos of this video, you're going to be in three dimensions. So because z is there, z is lurking in the background. Because it hasn't been restricted, z is arbitrary. If you don't mention a variable that is in the picture, is in the context, it doesn't mean it's 0 or s defaulted to some other fixed value. It means it's anything. So what that means is in three-dimensional space, we could have, certainly, the circle of radius 3 in the xy plane with z equals 0. But, so here's our standard way of doing the coordinates, but we could also have a circle of radius 3 above that with z equals 5 or something, or below it. We could have any of those guys. And for any point on the circle, z can be anything, which is going to create a line up and down. And so we're going to create a cylinder. Now let me dot this. That's going to be in the back, okay? And so we're go we're going to get something now. If you start drawing it all, it becomes incredibly busy. So part of the the point of how do you draw these things is what do you draw and what do you don't draw. So let me erase that just real real quick and redraw it again, with just the minimum stuff that's going to suggest correctly what's going on. Let's draw one. Uh, wh what it looks like in one z plane up here, what it looks like in another z plane down here, and just a few things to connect together. And that gives us a good idea of what the thing is, looks like. So less is more is often the idea. Okay. Now what we've done here is a very general thing. These guys are called sections or cross sections or traces, depending on who's talking about them. And they're, they're what you get when you take any surface and you intersect it with one of the coordinate planes, or a plane that's coordinate parallel to a coordinate plane. So like if you intersect with z equals 5, you get a circle here. If you intersect with z equals minus 3, you get a circle for the cylinder. Cylinders have the property that if you look, if you set the, um, the variable that's not mentioned, which is the axis variable here, if you set that to be a constant, then you're going to get just the same curve over and over again. That's what makes it a cylinder. Um, but you can also look at what happens if you say set x equals 0. Or sorry, y equals 0. This is y equals 0. This vertical plane is y equals 0. Okay. And so that's going to be, let's look at what the equations say. If you set y equals 0, then x squared equals 9, or x equals plus or minus 3. Ooh, that seems to be two points. But remember, it's x equals plus or minus 3, and z is anything. And so that's the forward part of the cylinder, the front part. It's just a line where x is 3, y is 0, and z is anything. And then here's the backwards part, uh, the backwards line, the, the line at the back, where z is anything, and y is 0, and x is minus 3. And similarly, the left and right sides are where x is equal to 0, and you get y equals plus or minus 3. So the, this is our huge, huge tool for drawing any kind of surface, is looking at the cross sections. And very often, what, all we're going to do is we're going to draw some limited number of sections, horizontal or vertical this way or vertical this way, to get a sense of what the, uh, what the object is. For cylinders, all we get is either the same curve copied over and over again, like the circles, or straight lines. Um, so another example would be, let's say, uh, z equals uh, 2x squared. What's that going to look like? So y is the axis variable. 
So we already know it's going to be something extending infinitely in the y direction. And um, we just need to know what the cross-section is. So we're going to treat it for a second as if it were just in the, the plane, namely the zx plane. That's a parabola. And so that's going to be a parabola sort of coming out toward us and going away from us. So I'm going to draw it pretty skinny to indicate kind of the foreshortening effect of being along this axis. If I wanted to really make it clear that it's supposed to be coming out and going towards, we could put these little dotted lines here. And then I know that it's just going to have that same cross-section if I increase y, because y does not matter here. It's not mentioned in the equation. And it's going to have the same cross-section over here. Don't draw too many. Don't make them overlap, because that's not going to help you. And I would just connect them with some lines. And maybe, well, maybe down here. It's not Actually, it's not clear <laughs> if those are really going to be helpful. Well, it's maybe one at the midline here. OK. So what we've got is a trough. It opens up. It's a trough opening up and uh, running sideways. So that's a verbal description that the trough, that the, the inside of the trough is in here, and it runs left and right along, right along the y-axis. This is part one of the, the sections here. And so notice, we that's really drawn the, the, the cross-sections or the traces. Again, this is where y is some fixed negative value. This is where y is 0. This is where y is positive. I get copies of this curve over and over again. And then the other traces for a, a cylinder are just straight lines. Okay, so that's cylinders.